Hey guys, it's Cassie. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back if you're a seasoned subscriber. Today we are going to be sitting down and having a chat all about the new luxury collections that have just come out, are coming out. We are going to be covering two of the Louis Vuitton men's collections, the Gucci Apple collection and Dior Amour. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie. I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're probably gonna love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? Never. Guys, are you ready? Let's go. All right, so I'm going to start off with the Dior Amour capsule collection, which just dropped last week i believe it is available online and in stores i believe so we are just gonna have a little peruse all right so we have the small dior amour red book tote here we go straight from the outset i'm gonna say it um i'm not a red person i have friends that wear red very well red is not a color that i gravitate to i can like admire it on other people but it's never the color i choose um i don't know why also is it okay and it's like polka dots again I'm not the biggest polka dot fan. I think that there's a lot happening here. It's very, look, the book totes in general, the designs can be quite, you know, you can get a more simple one or, or you can get ones that are a little bit more, but the colors always make it quite neutral. But this color is not neutral. It's very statementy for something that would probably be used on a daily basis and isn't like an event bag, you know? Okay. Um, Okay, this is cute. You've got, um, oh, they're doing like mini Lady Dior's, which is just very adorable. They're like, maybe like that big. I don't know how helpful this is in on the internet. Um, but so they're doing the mini Lady Dior in a kind of white lambskin. Um, and then you just have like a little heart added to the charms. And I think that that is a really cute way of injecting something different from the collection. So it's still special in that way, but you're not committing to the whole bag being like that. You know what I mean? So um, I really like this. I think that this is a really cute option. Okay, you have the uh, Tribal earrings, which again, it's the kind of usual, I'm a fan of the uh, Tribal. I'm really trying for you guys. Earrings, and they've just got this kind of added heart. Cute, nothing really to write home about, but cute, you know? Um, maybe you wanted some a, a little something from the collection and you don't want anything crazy. That's a good one. See this, once again, much like the book tote, this I think is like too much. This is far too statementy. Look, unless you're at a point where like you have loads of bags and it doesn't really mean anything to you for you to part with 4,600 of your money to get a limited edition piece, then fair enough, you know? But just coming at this from an angle of you want it to be wearable, you don't just want to have to wear this like once in a while kind of thing, I don't think that's a good choice. You know, there's a lot happening here and to be very honest with you, it's triggering my, it's triggering my tripophobia a little bit. Okay, so there, there's also a graffiti element to this collection. Uh, which just sort of says, I think I love you in many different languages. I am seeing Je t'aime and I'm seeing I love you and I'm putting two and two together and we're getting four. So this is the Deconnect graffiti sneaker. Again, um, it's not making me feel very much, but I don't hate it. You know, I think it's fine. To be very honest with you, it's actually quite neutral. You only have the red in the laces and kind of on the bottom, which I think is nice. And then the writing is in white and black, so it's very easily matched with. You have the Dior Amour bracelet, which is neither here nor there. And to be very honest with you, don't waste your money on that. It's it's also like, do you wanna know what with these bracelets? They, they never sit where you want them to. You want them to sit in the middle, you know, with this one, you'd want the heart to be in the middle of your wrist. We all know with these bracelets, they all swim around. They swim around, it's gonna be dangling down here. You're gonna have the fasten on the top. The bit that's showing off is the fasten. It never works that well, so don't bother. Okay, they've got the Deed Connect sneaker, but we've got an all polka dot version. I don't know if it would have been better if it was all red with white dots because this just, I don't know, sort of makes me think of, I don't know, a medical emergency. It's it's not doing it for me. Mm -mm. No, thank you. Again, red to your wallet, fine. You've got a, a barrette, you've got a sodden ring. You've got a Lady Dior five gusset card holder with chain, mini bag flex. The polka dots aren't doing anything for me, but I respect the flex of the mini bag. Why? Because TBE, tiny bag energy. There's a, there's a, oh, you're all right. Well, there's a box of pencils. Are they any good? Look, 
Here's a fun fact about me. I am a stationary, aside from being a luxury addict, I'm also a stationary addict. I love it. I love a good pen. I'm obsessed with my planner. I don't know, if you just wanna, if you're like going to school or uni and you wanna flex hard, or you want to give a gift to somebody who's going to university in school and you want them to flex hard, then this is fabulous. There is a t-shirt. The t-shirt I think is quite cute. Again, I think it's a, it's a good piece to buy from the collection. Sort of off-white uh, colored t-shirt with a red drawn heart that says I love you in loads of different languages. That's cute. It's also something that is so easily worn all the time. You'll get a lot of use out of that. You know what? This thing didn't make me feel any kind of type of way. Um, I came, I saw, I didn't part with any money, you know? This is the Gucci Apple collection. And Chinese Valentine's Day is the 25th of August. So all the reds and the love is kind of making sense to me. Um, so what have they done? They have reimagined the Gucci GG um, logo into a cartoon apple. Who asked for this? Not entirely sure. Let's see if it's any good. Um, okay, so you have the, the small padlock bag with the bamboo handle. I think it's a, it's a great style of bag in general. I don't know why. And maybe if it, it, it's just because I got myself a Nintendo Switch. But it's giving me Animal Crossing vibes. It's very, um, like, childish in a way, but not in a bad way necessarily. It's just very, like, fun and playful. There we go. Those are the words I'm after. It's not personally my vibe. You wouldn't see me kind of walking around with a um, Gigi Canvas hat that's got a massive Gigi apple on the front of it. They've got the, you know how much I love and respect, the Gigi Supreme belt bag. And this is that, but it has a, a skinnier strap, which I find quite intriguing. Um, it's exactly the same as mine, except for the fact that it has a skinnier strap and it's like a leather strap with holes in it as opposed to like an adjustable canvas. Keychain wallet, that might be a cute piece to, to get from the collection. You want something fun, but you don't want to have to commit to a whole bag or something in this print, you know? The Ace sneakers might also be a good option too. You got a phone case, you know what I think about phone cases and designer technology pieces, apart from AirPods cases, don't do it. I did want to talk about the Louis Vuitton Men's Fall Winter 2020 collection. And also because on this channel, um, we have a look at the men's section as well. You know, there's some hot pieces, especially from like Louis Vuitton and Dior Men's on fire. Now, okay, the Cloud Collection. This part of the collection, it's only part of the collection, um, is kind of centered around this cloud design. The LV is made up of fluffy um, uh, cumulus clouds. I don't know. I just pulled that out of my ass, to be very honest with you, um, from geography. Is geography when you get taught that? I think it is. I think it is. It's a cloud, nonetheless. We have got the white LV clouds, and then the background is a kind of ombre blues. So it ends with like a um, like a rich cobalt. On first glance, I was like, oh my gosh, I love it. And then I thought, hold on a second, let's think about it in practice. I feel like with this collection, one needs to be a little bit strategic because it's not that easily matched with. Personally, when I make decisions like, okay, if I'm gonna buy this thing, I want to make sure that I can wear it, you know, and I have options. I don't want to just be limited to, oh, I can really only wear this with this color or something like that, you know? So with this, I think that is important to keep in mind. Wallet is a really good idea to get in this actually, because once again, it's a pop, you can bring it out and flex in that way, you know, and it's just like, mm, what's that, hello, without having to commit to a whole bag. There is one bag that I think is really, really cool. They have like this longer kind of, but skinnier version of kind of like the soft trunk. I like that. I feel like that's something that maybe you could also adjust to wear across the chest as well. Um, I obviously think key poles, like if you can collect all the key poles, like that is just fabulous. Um, the rest of the stuff uh, is just like um, cloud suits and whatnot. And you know, the tops, the tops are kind of cool. I do really quite like it. It's just like the wearability of the pieces and just making sure that you get a piece that you'll actually use a lot and not just one that's like, oh, it just looks sick and you don't actually get very much use out of it, you know? Okay, the other thing I want to discuss and we need to discuss is the Louis Vuitton Men's Spring Summer 21 collection. I don't even know what to say. There's a lot of pieces that kind of have um, sort of cartoon characters just stuck, just stuck on them there. Virgil has been accused of stealing this idea from another designer, um, a Belgian designer called 
Walter Van Beerendonk. Terrible pronunciation, apologies. I mean, there's like, just like a stuffed scorpion there, like, why, why? Okay, the only thing I like is I quite like these colours together. They look very pleasing to the eye and I enjoy that in the like giant damier print. But the sunglasses are just all over the place. There's one that looks like you've got there's one that just is just it's just a strip. It's just a tiny little strip. That has no UV UVB um shielding benefits does it protection that's the word i was looking for and then they've got some as well that are like uh, that's it it's the like sodding louis vuitton flowers or whatever just that as the eyes how, how am i meant to wear this in real life i thought that whole thing was a mess to be very honest with you let me know your thoughts on these collections so i'm going to link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it have an amazing morning afternoon or evening wherever you are and i will see you in my next video bye guys